everyone, as you know, I have the rosacea and it's the little pink bit across the front of my face. I've developed it probably in about the last five years and you know, it's not bad. It's not as bad as what some people do get, but it does bother me. And you know, I like to walk the dog or do the groceries without makeup, but now I'm finding that I'm not. So today I've popped over to Double Bay, which is nowhere near where I live. But when you're getting work done on your face, you really want to go to somewhere that's the best in the industry. And these guys are the best in the industry. So it's Medispa by Maddie and I'm lucky enough today to actually be here with Maddie the owner and she's like up there with the best and I'm going to be as bold to say in Australia not just Sydney so I feel really that. lucky to be here but when I'm working on my face that is what I want the best in the industry so first of all I want to say thanks Maddie for taking my appointment thank you Tina thank you, thank you. and then um can you just tell me what you, would you suggest just to help me treat I don't want any downtime so I know there's different treatments out there but for my job I don't want something that's got a lot of downtime certainly rosacea is very common especially in women and as our hormones change and the weather change it can get aggravated some people can come back in summer saying that it gets worse but it's quite common in winter especially as the skin get dehydrated one of the best treatment you can do for it is intense pulse light which is referred to as IPL I've right, heard that yeah yeah, yeah. And yeah. that works very nice. And what you need to do with rosacea is more about having consistency and regular treatments than going and having one harsh treatment. Right. Because the skin's already irritated and it's being active and it's just reacting to its surrounding. Right. So if you can regularly every 10 to 12 weeks, it doesn't have to be every week, but have the treatment or sometimes have the LED light treatments as well can calm down the rosacea. Because Rosacea is a common skin skin condition, like having open pores. Yeah, right. It's going to stay with you. So all you can do is really calm it down okay. and keep it under control. Because you're not going to very much, so unless it's very aggravated, you're not going to cure it. It's just going to be part of your skin. So it's so just keeping it under control keeping and it managing under control. it. Yeah, yes. okay. Correct. Well, that sounds good. So um, which one of your team members is known for, for that? Um, I know you're the yeah, lip yeah, queen, yeah, I, you? I am. You are I normally, I'll, I'll work better with the syringe than the laser, yeah. so anyone knows me they know that. <laughs> I'm the Tepeniaki of the syringes yeah. but no we got our nurse Lana who's yeah. very good and we got a skin aesthetician Fiona who's fantastic with it the girls are very well trained and I myself have got 20 years of experience in cosmetic industry mm -hmm. and being probably one of the very first nurses in Australia even injected a procedure such as Botox wow, it's and great Nicholas, it's a great so. resume you've really got yeah. so when Thank I did my you. research like you you kept coming up in the top so you oh, know we you. have to we have to come here so Medi Spa by Maddie the link um, below will have all the information about them. Um, Thank you. Them. So Tina, what we do first is we cleanse the skin. Here's our beautiful nurse Lana. <laughs> and once the skin's cleansed, we can start. And you can see on Tina's skin, she's got very typical redness, which gets quite aggravated on the tip of the nose. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's a lot more red on this area, but it subsides as it goes towards the ear, but we're going to do the treatment on the full skin. I'm going to do her forehead, nose, cheeks, chin. I'm just Excited. a mess all over, aren't I? No, you're not. <laughs> but it is, I noticed what you said in there, and that's right with me as well. There's no rhyme nor reason. Yeah. Like, it comes winter. It comes summer. It doesn't matter what I eat. It doesn't matter yeah. if I do or don't have alcohol. It yeah. just pops up when it feels like it. Yeah, and things can aggravate it. Sometimes it's mostly season. can be sometimes allergies. And, and it is common with women, and as we age, our skin does change. You know, skin becomes thinner, and any condition such as your facial redness becomes worse. Mine is pigmentation, because I've got that hormonal pigmentation, so that's another concern that a lot of women have, um, especially because of the little moustache on the upper lip. Ah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. I think we might have to come back one day and have a, like a little chat with you about just different skin conditions and what women can definitely. do. Definitely. Okay, Miss Brown. Let's, Let's get go. excited, girls. So <laughs> give it a minute, we're gonna start. Okay. So one, one side down. It's got white. One, two, three. So Tina's doing quite well. It's quite normal after the treatment to go red. Right. Um, hydration is the key. Don't use anything aggressive on your face. I mean common sense, don't go and wax your upper lip. Am I allowed to put any makeup on or nothing you can. for today? Yes, you can. Today, yeah. But at least give it an hour. Okay. Maybe so, even mineral makeup's a good idea as well. Mineral yeah. makeup is fantastic. So that is what I'm feeling. It's not what I thought. I thought it would be a constant, almost like a hot pain, but it's yeah. almost just like a little elastic band yeah. flicking my face. So yeah. it's not, 
it's not too not bad. Too bad. I can feel that it's there, so I know it's getting done, but I'm not in pain. So, and thanks, you know, Lana. It's all right. <laughs> and you know, do you find it to be more painful some areas than the other? Yeah, um, around where Lana's doing now is yeah. okay. It's just when she gets around my nose, nose. around the side parts of my nose that that's um, yeah, that that I definitely know she's yeah, and- doing. Me. That is because you've got more capillaries there. So right. the area where it's more concentrated red is the area you will feel it a lot more. So you're saying that if some ladies came in, that if their cheeks were redder, they'd feel it more on yes. their... Yeah, right. Sometimes you can even go after... Lana had a patient that she mm. felt like burning for 24 hours, yeah. but there was no signs of burning. It yeah. was just the heat. She had a lot of... Right. Yeah, a lot of redness. Very. So another one there. So Tina, tell us. How's it feeling? It's, I'm actually surprised. It, it wasn't painful. And the, and if I know that the results are going to be good, I don't even mind if it is painful. But it wasn't painful. I enjoyed it. It was fast. And I've just got to remember to keep my sunscreen on. That's it. Good girl. Yeah. So I'm not feeling any pain or heat or anything right now. now and it's about an hour since I've had my treatment and I feel great like my face it's just a, a tiny bit warm but it's not hot it's not uncomfortable I'm um, not red I always kind of imagine when I did something like this I'm not sure if you ever saw um, sex in the city when that episode where Samantha went and had her face lasered so that's why I'd been putting it off for a little bit because you know I know that that's over exaggerated on TV but I didn't want to have the face like that so I'm really happy with it as I've um, requested for I didn't want any downtime because you know I can't have that with with my job so I'm happy with what what it is at the moment got to get back to work tomorrow I feel all good and um, I'll come back and do a little update in a week and see how it goes it is day seven since I had my IPL treatment over at Medispa by Maddie, and I'm happy. I'm really happy with the results. My cheeks have definitely calmed down, but as Maddie and Lana said, it is not a cure for rosacea. Unfortunately, there is no cure for rosacea. It's maintaining it, so it's just keeping it under control. Sometimes if it gets angry, it's just going in. The IPL just helps maintain the redness and keeps it calm down. So it will be an ongoing process if I wish to continue, which I think I will, and especially, you know, around summertime, I'll continue to do it because, you know, to, to go out without makeup and everything on will be great for me. Um, I do have to always remember to put my sunscreen on which we should do anyway right but have to always remember to put my sunscreen on now I'm going to come up close so don't get scared I'm just going to show you up close so you've got my cheeks there so my cheeks are quite calm which is really nice my nose still a little bit red there but nothing like it was before I went in the only other thing I've been doing as well is I found this product from Bioderma and it's called Sensor Bio by Bioderma, and it's the AR version of it. And that is a redness um, calming moisturizer. I like the consistency of it. It's got elements in there that just keep my um, rosacea just tamed down a little bit. And I just use that morning and night. So pop that on. It's about $40, $42, depending on where you buy it from. And then I just put it on. It's really nice. Feels really nice on as well. So, you know, we have to use a moisturizer anyway. So why wouldn't I use one that has a little element? in there that will calm down my rosacea. So I hope that has given you a little bit of an insight into what IPL is and how it can help you if you have got rosacea. It also helps many other forms of skin conditions as well, which will be in the article. So if you go to our website, midlifefabulous.com.au, that will list all the other treatments that IPL helps. But for me, I went in about my rosacea.